Hello, this is Sean Wilson, Superintendent of Harford County Public Schools. I'd like to share with you the state of our school district, our progress toward the Board of Education's long-term goals to serve our students, my gratitude for our staff, and the tough financial decisions we're facing after two years of near-flat local funding. Investing in our county's future is at the heart of public education, and preparing every student for the future is our top priority. In fact, career preparation is nationally recognized as one of the most important endeavors for schools today. And our recent graduating class of 2024 truly exemplified this effort. We saw a 7% increase in students meeting our North Star graduate outcomes, which means more students than ever demonstrated their skill and abilities to succeed after high school. The most significant gains were in students showing success in technical skills assessments, apprenticeships, and dual enrollment courses at Harford Community College. It's particularly inspiring to see improvements among historically underserved populations. Hispanic students saw a 17% increase in meeting any North Star outcome. Special education students improved by 17% in completing technical skills assessments. And students experiencing poverty saw an 18% rise in the same category. HCPS is leading the state in its apprenticeship program with 210 student apprentices last year and growing exponentially. This progress relies on our school community and businesses to succeed, and I couldn't be more excited by how I all have come together to pave this career path for our students. I'm also proud to report tremendous progress in literacy. According to the recent state assessment data, MCAP, our focused efforts in intensive literacy instruction and alignment with the science of reading are paying off. We experienced an 8.9% increase in English language arts proficiency for grades three through eight, placing us at the top in statewide growth measures over the past two years. Let me repeat that, in grades three through eight, our students showed the largest growth over the last two years in the entire state for reading. This is a phenomenal testament to our teachers and families' skills and dedication. Additionally, I'd like to congratulate Bakersfield Elementary which achieved a remarkable 27.6% increase in ELA proficiency, earning the second highest growth among all elementary schools in Maryland. While these numbers are impressive, we know there's more work to be done, and we're committed to ensuring that all students get the individualized support and instruction they need to thrive academically. Some of the challenges that we're facing head on include the implementation of a new ambitious comprehensive mathematics plan, a 14% increase in students needing special education services over the last three years, and a need to attract and retain the highest quality educators during workforce shortages. Of course, despite national teacher shortages, one of the key reasons for our student success is the exceptional dedication of our educators. I'm proud to announce that on the first day of school, HCPS had no teacher vacancies, a significant accomplishment unmatched by any other school system in the state. It is only possible with our tireless and innovative human resources experts. Along with a hustling HR department, we're investing in Grow Your Own initiatives to build our future teaching workforce. This includes creating high quality internship opportunities and establishing a model school pilot for teacher preparation at Roy Williams Elementary, which engages a cohort of up to 20 juniors and seniors from Towson University. These students are gaining hands-on experience and we expect great things from the students and the program. Throughout the district, we hosted almost 300 student interns last year, which is critical for our long-term success. Also critical are our relationships and connections with families in the broader Harford County community. Last year, we proudly provided parent access to Canvas, our learning management system, so that they can work alongside students and teachers toward academic achievement. Last year, we publicly launched our first ever weekly district data dashboard, giving families real-time information about district operations. And let's not forget the ongoing success of our family-friendly school program, which continues to grow and evolve as we prioritize making our schools welcoming spaces of belonging for all. We started this school year with an exciting venture to welcome new babies born in our county as future students of HCPS. 
This fantastic new initiative is in partnership with the Harford County Health Department, where babies and their families at the Upper Chesapeake Medical Center receive welcome kits that connect them with HCPS from the very start of their educational journey. It's an amazing opportunity to build early connections starting at birth and invest in the next generation of Harford County citizens. Safety remains a top priority and is always at the forefront of our decision-making and improvement efforts. Over the last six years in my tenure, we've invested $1.6 million in new funding for safety. We now have both school resource officers and safety liaisons in our buildings. Unfortunately, this year we have experienced situations where conflicts that began outside our schools impacted our ability to keep students safe while at school. Subsequently, we're working closely with law enforcement to enhance our safety resources and practices. Additionally, we're partnering with the Harford County government to pilot a weapons detection system that we hope will contribute to our ability to detect threats before harm occurs. All of Harford County wants the same thing, safe and welcoming schools where students can achieve their full potential. Another way we seek a positive learning environment is by maintaining our buildings and constructing new facilities. We're excited to share that the new Homestead Wakefield School is on track to be completed this coming summer for occupancy in the 2025-2026 school year. Additionally, we're excited to break ground on the new Harford Academy and Elementary School project in 2026. A challenge we face in maintaining our facilities is that our buildings are on a 110-year construction cycle with one building completed about every two years. This timeline is simply too long. We need our community partners to come together and have that timeline so future students can learn in safe and sufficient facilities. Now, I'd like to address our most significant challenge, our budget. Due to two years of nearly flat funding from our local county government, we're projecting a budget shortfall of approximately $60 million. This shortfall equates to a reduction of more than $1,500 per student in our community. The county executive has indicated that this flat funding approach will continue in the coming year. Given this reality, we've developed a budget survey that presents various scenarios of possible trade-offs for reducing expenses. We recognize that our services and operations will have to shrink if we are flat funded, and therefore, we must take a significant look at our priorities, whether it's class size, safety, programs, or services. We ask for your input as we make these critical budget choices while maintaining our values of student achievement for all, high quality instruction, family and community engagement, and of course, safety. I encourage everyone to complete the survey to ensure your voice is heard. Your input matters as we navigate these financial challenges. Finally, I can't express enough gratitude to everyone devoted to our schools and students. Whether you volunteer for the PTA, help a child with their homework, drive students to sporting events, host a student apprentice, or serve our students lunch, you are incredibly important to our student success. Just like the new babies at Upper Chesapeake Medical Center getting a welcome to learning kit through our wonderful health department, when a student is given the care and resources to thrive, they will do just that. They will thrive. Thank you all.